Right, local 2 investigates the secret aircraft the Houston Police Department is now testing. It's a new unmanned drone that can patrol from the air. Now, it's also a device that HPD wanted to keep under wraps. And now they're being just a little vague at how they're going to use it. KPRC Local 2 investigative reporter Stephen Dean gives you the first look at the plane that could soon be watching you from above. Neighbors accustomed to livestock and wide open land had no idea what to make of all this. Black trucks, satellite dishes, a radar swirling, and a portable launch pad with something covered up. At the entrance to this Waller County ranch was a Houston police roadblock, checking all the dignitaries arriving for this secret test. Their invitation spelled out, no media allowed. We tried to ask this HPD lieutenant on his way back out. They'll be coming out here in a minute. They all gathered around the launch pad. Big shots with police departments from all over the Houston area. And now, the show they came for. The test you were not supposed to see. It's an unmanned drone aircraft. HPD, the Federal Department of Homeland Security, and other invited guests all watching to see how this drone could be used for police work in and around Houston. We tracked that drone from News Chopper 2, and that drone was able to use a high-powered camera to track us. Those cameras can actually look into people's homes or even follow them in moving cars, which raises all sorts of new questions. One issue is going to be law enforcement using this and when by using these drones are they conducting a search and which they would need probable cause or a warrant. The military has been dropping bombs and using drones for secret war zone surveillance for years. And last month, the California wildfires were snuffed out with drones joining the other firefighting tankers in the air. This drone is made by a Washington state firm called In Situ. They weigh about 40 pounds, but they can carry 15 pounds more in police gear. They can stay airborne over Houston 15 to 24 hours without landing. I wasn't ready to publicized this. HPD quickly hustled together a news conference when it realized our cameras were there for the entire secret test. Potential public safety applications include mobility, evacuations, homeland security, search and rescue, as well as tactical. Executive Assistant Chief Martha Montalvo admits that could mean covert police action. But she says it's too early to tell what else HPD will do with the aircraft. Maybe these guys know. We saw many ticket writers from HPD's radar task force. So we asked, are these drones headed for ticketing speeders from the sky? I'm not ruling anything out. Back at the secret test site, police helicopter pilots claimed the entire airspace was restricted. They even threatened our local two investigates pilot with action from the FAA if we didn't leave. But we checked with FAA several times and there never was a flight restriction. That leaves some to wonder whether the police are now ready to use terrorism fears since 9-11 to push the envelope even further into our private lives. We see that some of these technologies that are, were being used in the aftermath of 9-11 that were, we thought were necessary to protect our security in that time are now being used to diminish privacy in other contexts, and that is extremely worrisome. HPD says it'll tackle privacy and illegal search issues later. Headquarters is hoping to begin policing Houston with this new tool in about seven months, but more test flights are needed. No word yet on when the next flight is planned or whether it'll be treated as a big secret like the one captured by our cameras. Stephen Dean, KPRC Local 2. Nicely done. Now, our investigation isn't over. Tomorrow morning, we look into a past crash of an unmanned craft in another city and what it means as HPD prepares to fly them over our homes and schools. That's tomorrow at 6.50 a.m. And remember, if you've got a story for Local 2 Investigates, call the tip line at 713-223-TIPS or feel free to email Local 2 Investigates at click2houston.com.